In this video, we can discuss about anti-adrenergic drugs or adrenergic receptor antagonist or blocking agents or also known as sympatholytic drugs. So what is anti-adrenergic drugs? These are drugs which will antagonize the receptor action of adrenaline and other related drugs. So these are the drugs which will antagonize the adrenergic drugs. And how will they act? They are competitive agonist of alpha or beta or both alpha and beta adrenergic receptors. So adrenergic drugs are again classified into alpha specific blockers, beta specific blockers or alpha and beta blockers. And since it will block the action of adrenergic receptor, it will block the effect of sympathetic action. So these drugs is also known as sympatholytics because that will lies the effect of sympathetic effect. Now this drug is adrenergic receptor act cheyina adrenaline adu pole adrenaline oto relate cheyina adrenergic drugs drug inde receptor action e block kiya annaladan ee drugs gal competitive aayittu alpha beta allengil both alpha and beta receptor umayittu bind edittu adrenaline ee receptor umayittu bind cheyina effect ne block kiyum appo adrenaline effect undakuna sympathetic effects gal a effect in a total eye to block in the wound in a sympatholytic drugs in the Varna where a repairing would end up a lingual adrenergic receptor antagonist in the Varna where end a lingual simply adrenergic receptor blockers in the Varna where end. And then a window classifies either to the alpha blockers, beta blockers, and alpha and beta blockers in the Varna Tana classifies either to now let's discuss about alpha adrenergic blocking agents or simply alpha blockers. So this is alpha receptor na matram block in the Now let's see the classification of alpha adrenergic blocking agent. It is mainly classified into non-equilibrium type and equilibrium type in the sense of the is there any competition between this uh, antagonist, between agonist and antagonist. And example for non-equilibrium type or non-competitive type is beta -halkylo halo alkylamine. Example is phenoxybenzamine. And example for equilibrium type, they, they are competitive antagonist of alpha receptors. It is again divided into non-selective alpha blockers, alpha 1 selective blockers and alpha 2 selective blockers. Example for alpha 2 selective block, uh, blocker is Yohimbin and alpha 1 selective blockers is Trazosin, Terazosin, Dexazosin, Alphazosin and Tamusulin. And example for non-selective alpha blocker, it will inhibit both the alpha 1 receptor as well as alpha 2 receptor. It is again divided into ergot alkaloids like ergotamine and ergotoxin and hydrogenated ergot alkaloids like hydroxy ergotamine and hydroxy ergotoxin and imidazole in like phenylalanine and miscellaneous drugs like chlorpromazine so these are the classification of alpha blocking and the adrenergic agents alpha receptor na block cheyina adrenergic drugs gal anti adrenergic drugs gal aanu nammal ippo discuss cheyyunnathu so this is the classification Non, -select, non equilibrium and equilibrium types that we had mentioned in another. So, now what will be the effect or action of alpha blockers? So, the effect which are produced by the alpha receptor will get blocked. So, the dilator effect of I will be blocked, it will produce meiosis and there will be an increasing GIT due to the blocking of relaxation of GI action. There will be an increasing GIT and there will be an relaxation of trigonal sphincters of urinary bladder and there is so it will uh, there will be a decreasing resistance to the flow of urine and 
uh, in artery it will decreases the peripheral vascular resistance and decreases the after load and BP and uh, there will be a venous dilation and decreasing the venous return to the heart and decreasing preload. Now let us see the actions it will block the vasoconstriction so it will produce hypotension it will block the vasoconstriction and it will uh, it will not produce vasodilation but due to the decreasing peripher peripheral resistance there will be a decreasing uh, BP that is hypotension and there is a reflex tachycardia due to this effect and nasal stiffness and meiosis then intestinal motility will decrease and it will may lead to diarrhea and hypotension which will lead to renal blood flow decreases and which may lead to decreasing glomerular filtration rate and there will be an increasing sodium retention and there will be an increasing blood volume. So overall BP will get uh, sorry uh, renal uh, glomerular filtration rate will get uh, decreased. Now it will decrease the smooth muscles of bladder as well as fincher and they will in inhibit the ejaculation. So these are the different actions of alpha blockers. Now what are the uses of alpha blockers? It is mainly used for the phenochromocytoma and uh, phenochromocytoma is a uh, cancer stage in the adrenal medulla. So what will happen is there will be an excess of adrenaline release. So that will produce an excess of sympathetic effect. So in order to prevent that phenochromocytoma or phenochroma uh, adrenergic effect due to the phenochromocytoma, we can use the beta block alpha blockers. Now hypertension alpha 1 selective blockers like prasosin can be used for the treatment of hypertension then for the treatment of benign hypertrophy of prostate and uh, we can use for the secondary uh, attack of hypertension and for the treatment of peripheral vascular diseases prasosin and uh, phenoxybenzamine can be used and for the treatment of congestive heart failure CHF prasosin can be used and papaverin and phenolamine induced pinar erection therapy for the impotence. So these are the different uses of alpha blocking agents or anti-adrenergic alpha blockers. So that is all about the uh, anti-adrenergic alpha blocking drugs. In another video we will discuss anti-adrenergic beta blocking agents. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.